Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can update the BIOS firmware for the HP Compact DC 7800 computer, uh, either in with a bootable uh, USB drive or in your BIOS uh, settings. And so you can see here, it's a flashing system room, do not remove power. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you download the firmware from the HP uh, website in, rela in re um, relation to your computer. And if you want to, uh, to update the BIOS firmware using DOS, then you need to create a bootable DOS USB drive. So uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, you can check out the link in my video description on how to do that. And once you have create, created a DOS bootable USB drive with the firmware attached to the USB, we're going to boot up. So here I'm going to press on the F9 key. And I'm going to choose USB device. So boot up from my USB device. And here is the DOS screen, and I'm going to type in the to list all the files in the USB drive. And here I'm going to execute the flash bin file. So flash bin. Uh, I think I missed out something. Flash bin, and then enter. Now again, if you do not, if you do not know how to create a bootable USB drive, you can click on the description for a link to another video where I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to click on yes, then click on yes again, or type on yes again on the keyboard, and now it is flashing through the system room. So this is one of the way to update the motherboard BIOS firmware. And that's it, so it has now finished. I'm going to reboot the computer. Now another way to do it is to press on the F10 key when the computer restarts. And in here, we're going to go into the BIOS menu. In file, we're going to go down and choose Flash System ROM. And then I'm going to choose USB and press on F10 to accept. And here, it will locate a file in the root directory of the USB drive and that file is called 7 f one underscore zero one three five dot bin so press on the F10 key to accept and so are you sure I'm going to press on F10 to say yes and so this is another way how you can uh, update the system BIOS so those are the two different ways how you can do it and that's it thank you for watching this video Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.